What's going on folks? This is Jeremy with Care Services and Balemo Tutorials. This video is brought to you today by Confliction, a metal band out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Check them out on ReverbNation.com slash Confliction Band, Facebook.com slash TheRealConfliction.com, TheRealConfliction.com, and YouTube.com user slash Confliction Band. Uh, as always, I mean, they're a rocking band, and uh, they want their name out there, doing what they can. Uh, go check them out, listen to their stuff, man, and uh, rock it out, man. I may play some, uh, you know what, I may play a, a song lightly in the background here in a second. Uh, depends on how loud it gets, but uh, today what we're doing is we are going over, uh, gonna break it, not really go over it per se, but we're going to look at how a loop inside of a loop works. You got a lot of people asking uh, about double loops and not understanding how they do, what they do, or why they do it. So basically what, what the problem case is, is uh, asking for the average rainfall per month for X amount of years. So it's asking you to ask a user here, uh, you know, how many years do you want to calculate this rainfall basically when the user inputs those years it's all, it's going to need to display a table that's showing you know the month and the amount of rainfall but as it's doing this guys it's supposed to keep a track of the months and the total amount of rain that's fell for that period so uh the problem people have is not you know actually setting up the actual uh, work it's uh, getting the loop to desk check which means you can go buy one with pencil and paper and check and see if it works so this is what we're gonna do you're gonna declare the start of your program inside of that you're gonna uh, go ahead and declare what you're gonna need for this uh, program to work it's gonna be asking years so you know you need years it's got to operate uh, if you're doing years 12 months so it's gonna have to uh, run at least 12 months 12 times for each year so you'll need months we're getting the total inches so we're going to need inches and since we said total we're going to need total you're also going to need a counter variable that's going to count each uh time that the loop runs and just add to it so as always you know how to do all this is i want to ask uh the user how many years do they want to calculate you know so how many years are we going to run I'm going to input that answer into the variable years that we set up as a double. You know, although it doesn't matter, we it should be an int, so it should be an even number. But we're not too error checking yet, so we'll check errors later. Uh, next, we're going to set up the table. Here, we're going to display months as the header, and we're going to put the tab to give it a space, and then we're going to do inches. So it's going to have two columns, one for months and one for inches. And once it does that, display a line, separate it. Moving into uh, the connector here. Here we set the counter variable to one. And the counter variable will start while the counter variable is less than or equal to years. If it isn't less than years, we're gonna prove it's false. We're gonna set the months in, uh, equal to years times 12. That way we're counting, but it displays the total rainfall. But if it's true, we're going to run the actual loop, which is going to get all this information right here. So if it's true, we're going to set month equal to 1. Okay. Once we've set month equal to 1, it's kind of going into our next loop. Now, for month is less than or equal to 12. So it's another loop, it's a for loop, saying while the month is less than or equal to 12, we're going to go ahead and true. We're going to ask the user here how many inches of rainfall fell this month. Then we input those inches. Now that needs to be a double because they're going to probably use some kind of decimal format. So, you know, a real or a double or a float, something along those lines. Uh, once we input the inches, we're going to display the month tab inches. And if you remember over here, that's how we set up our table. So we're in a month variable. We're going to tab in and we're going to give the inches variable, which is basically what they've, uh, the month variable is going to just display what uh, the month is here. And inches is going to display, display 
what is here. Uh, next we're going to set the total. Now the total is going to equal the total, which is whatever this is, added up to the new total plus inches. So here total is zero that we set here. So the total now is equal to zero plus whatever the inches is. Once it does that, it comes down here. It's going to set month equal to month plus one. Now it's going to be the second month. And it's going to come back up here. We're still under 12. It's going to keep running. Total and total and total in, until you hit 12 right here. We're going to come up, or once you get done with 12, it's going to hit 13. It's going to come up here and hit here, 13. For month is less than or equal to 12. It's false now because it's 13. We're going to set year equal to year plus one. Now this is where most people are getting confused. You can do your loops. That's not an issue, but it's how do you have two loops inside of one? And this is it guys, right here. Uh, once you come out of this, it, this sub loop inside of it, you have to set year, which is here, to year plus one, or else you're not gonna be adding years to it and then you can't display this again. We're just gonna act like we put one. So we come down here, year is now equal to one plus one, which is two. It's gonna come up here and it's gonna loop back to the main loop, which is here. Now, while counter is less than or equal to years, years was one, we have two. It's now gonna come out because it's false. Now, this is where we're talking about, we're setting up the, how, what the total of everything was. So here we're gonna set months equal to the years times 12. So, and actually that's supposed to say month, but <laughs> for some reason I got an S. But uh, we're going to set month equal to years times 12. So we've had all this. The month was just here to set up for this so we could run the actual loop. Now that we've ran the loop and we've reset month each time, now I want month to be set to years times 12 because however many years we have times 12 will give us the amount of months that we've done our desk check for. And uh, then we're going to display the total rainfall for the months uh, for the months here which in our case would be 12 so here we're going to display the total info for the 12 months was inches which is what this total was as we were adding it up here and then inches I know it's kind of confusing months months inches inches but this here outside of the quotes is our actual variable I guess what I could do is like inside here put a plus sign and then maybe you can see uh, and a lot of times they'll do that uh, that way you can see what is the variable and what is not but uh, basically it's just saying your total rainfall for the 12 months was 94 inches whatever your math is here and then it displays it here so as we come into this loop this loop sets up a table that displays months and inches while still totaling each one as we go along. So each month has its own inch, right? And then at the very end, once we come out of this loop and back into the main loop and it ends, all it's going to do is display the total months that we ran, which one year times 12 is 12. And then it's going to display whatever this total variable is at the end of the uh, iteration or the, at the end of the loop so that's it guys I mean it, it's probably a little hard it's still a little over talked and a little over not really advanced but it, it's got some hardness to it and it's hard to understand when you start dealing with the loop inside of a loop and you just gotta go one loop at a time then how are you gonna connect those loops and how are you gonna add them together but uh, all right, that's it. Uh, this is again Jeremy with Care Services, and we are out. Comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to check out Confliction on Facebook and Confliction on Reverb Nation and Confliction Band on uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna put the links down here in the bottom of the display so you can go check them out, listen to their music. They rock. All right, I'm signing out. Yeah, yeah.
Come 